The spiny soft shell is Ontario's most unusual and easily recognized turtle species. Females are much larger than males, attaining sizes between 24 and 48 centimeters, whereas males grow to only half this size. This turtle has a long and tubular snout that it uses as a snorkel when buried in the mud in very shallow water. There are usually two yellow stripes with a black outline visible just behind the eye and jaw. In addition to the unusual nose, this turtle's most unique feature is its flat, round, soft and flexible leathery shell or carapace. The word spiny in the common name refers to the short projections, sometimes a little more than small bumps, at the front of the carapace, just behind the head. The feet are heavily webbed and streaked and spotted with yellow and black. In addition to the size difference, male and female spiny softshells have differently patterned carapaces. Both are tan, brown, or olive in color, however, adult males possess dark and more sharply defined spots, whereas adult females have an overall darker appearance with a blotched or mottled pattern. The underside of the turtle, called the plastron, is white or pale yellow, with the underlying bones visible. Baby spiny softshells are miniature replicas of their parents. With its pig-like snout and flat, leathery carapace, the spiny softshell is unlikely to be confused with any other turtle species in Ontario. This species is at the northern limit of its range in Canada. It is restricted to southwestern Ontario and certain sections of the Ottawa River. Female spiny softshells in Ontario usually require at least 10 years of growth before reaching maturity. Males take about 5 years. Adult survival, especially for females, is naturally high from one year to the next, and, like most turtles, they are long-lived. While maximum longevity is not known, spiny softshells can live for 50 years in the wild. After maturity, females lay one to two clutches of eggs per year throughout their lifetime, with an average range of nine to 38 eggs per nest. Of the many eggs laid throughout the turtle's life, which may exceed 1,000 for a long-lived female, only a couple survive to become reproductive adults. The spiny softshell's long life, delayed maturity, and low egg and hatchling survival make it quite vulnerable, as any additional mortality due to humans will have a significant impact. Spiny softshells are mostly carnivorous, consuming crayfish, aquatic insects, other invertebrates, fish, tadpoles, and some incidental ingestion of vegetation. While they possess lungs and need to breathe air, spiny softshells can acquire nearly 50% of their oxygen requirements from the water, as dissolved oxygen enters the turtle's bloodstream through the lining of the mouth and cloaca, and the skin in general, similar to how a fish uses its gills. This is an extremely wary and fast turtle. It is rarely encountered outside of nesting season. They are quick to escape to the safety of the water when on land, and a nesting female will very easily abort her attempts if there are any visual disturbances. Spiny softshells are powerful swimmers and can tolerate a swift current. They are found in rivers and large streams, as well as lakes and reservoirs. They prefer soft bottoms, little aquatic vegetation, and sandbars or mud flats for basking. These turtles also require gravelly or sandy areas for laying their eggs and access to deep water for hibernating. This turtle is a designated species at risk in Ontario and Canada. It is listed as threatened under the Species at Risk in Ontario list, as well as the Federal Species at Risk Act. A major threat to spiny softshells in Ontario is shoreline development and fragmentation. Destruction and disturbance of this critical nesting habitat for cottages and recreation continue to seriously threaten the species. The species requires open, undisturbed shoreline to nest, and without access to these areas, spiny softshells will surely disappear. Because spiny softshells are so intimately tied to their aquatic environment, like a fish, pollution and other environmental contaminants have serious consequences. As the pollutants in the water increase, spiny softshells will continue to vanish from these areas. These turtles are known to float just at the surface of the water, often in areas where speeding boats abound. This surface basking often results in deadly collisions due to careless and inattentive boaters. Although this is a protected species at risk, female spiny softshells are illegally poached and exploited for human consumption. Perpetrators of this crime usually use traps or baited hooks to capture the turtles. Since it is the adult female that is most often taken, this can have a serious impact on populations. Spiny softshell nests are under the constant threat of being destroyed by predators. While predators are a natural part of the ecosystem, increased human settlement has resulted in certain predator species, such as raccoons, skunks, and foxes, reaching unnaturally high levels. These subsidized predators occur at high levels due to things like garbage and food crops provided by people. In areas where subsidized predators occur, nearly 100% of turtle nests are destroyed every single year. 
Though usually not intentional, commercial fisheries and fishermen sometimes catch a spiny softshell in nets or by hook, and more often than not, this leads to the turtle's demise. Spiny softshells are at serious risk of becoming extirpated from Ontario, but there are ways you can help. Be aware of critical nesting habitat and avoid recreation on or near these areas. Spiny softshells will not nest if people or boats are in the immediate vicinity and are quick to abandon partially completed nests. Also, decreasing boating activity in spiny softshell habitat will reduce fatal collisions. Take the opportunity to educate others about spiny softshells. This very unique animal is extremely important to the ecosystems where it exists. A lot of what threatens this species comes simply from ignorance. People need to be informed exactly how their actions can and will cause this species decline. Explain to others how vital adult turtles are to the population and encourage people to never remove one from the wild or kill one intentionally. Try to get involved wherever you can. Conservation organizations work tirelessly to better understand and save these turtles, so help spread the message of their conservation. There is often a need for volunteers for surveys and shoreline restoration, so try searching for and contacting these organizations to learn of ways you might be able to help. There is hope for this species in Ontario, but we must all act quickly before this most peculiar looking turtle is lost forever. <laughs>